Hey everybody, this is Yusufir at Wi-Fi Studios coming to you with a quick episode. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you how to retin your soldering iron. And there's very, really just two basic steps, steps to this. Um, step number one is you have to file your soldering iron. Now I know a lot of you are going to disagree with that, but it does work if you have a copper soldering tip. So as you can see here, I'm just trying to focus it here. Won't focus. A little bit of it showing. I'm just trying to focus it. This app is so ridiculous. There we go. As you can see there, <coughs> you can see the copper the place where I soldered. That's actually copper. So basically, you need to follow your soldering tip. To do this, you could remove the soldering tip <coughs> from your um, soldering tool. Sorry, my throat's really hurting today. And just put it in a drill like this. Get a file. If you don't have a file, use a nail clipper like I did. Just a nail clipper. And just file down the tip to a nice sharp point. If you don't want it to be a sharp point, you can also, like what I did, I just soldered. I, I filed down the edge a little so it became a bit more flat. Because uh, I don't like to have a very sharp tip. It's just my uh, personal preference. The phone doesn't really... Uh, does it focus that well? Anyways, uh, and you're going to wrap. Um, you're going to wrap your tip with solder, and the reason you do this is because you want the tip to heat up, um, but you don't want it to oxidize because since the copper is so exposed, if you heat it up just exposed like that, the, uh, the, the it's going to oxidize. Then no, no solder is going to stick to it, and that's the problem with oxidized tips is that no solder sticks to them, and uh, everybody gets frustrated, and we're not happy, and your tip's not happy. So, uh, sorry for the bad filming, by the way, just um, want to make this really quick. I'm in university after all, I have to leave in a few minutes. So, all you have to do is turn that on, your tip's on, and you're just going to let it heat up, and it should fix itself. I should have used thinner solder, like, but I don't have any at the moment, like, to wrap around it, just so it would have been much better, but this is good. This will give a chance for the solder to stick to the copper before it can oxidize. That's the whole point of it. It's going to take a while. Now, to avoid your tip oxidizing in the future, make sure you put solder on your, make sure there is solder on your tip um, before you turn your tool off. And make sure that the solder stays on your tip while the, the tool is turned off. Um, the, tool, the, the solder on the tip will prevent oxidation. Yeah, this can take a long time. So just to clarify, it is okay to file your tip, but re the reason a lot of people do not agree with it is because a lot of tips are coated with like different metals um, to uh, to like you know conduct heat better. Like for example, some tips are actually steel or other metals, and then it's coated with copper because copper is the most like uh, heat. Um, it 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 basically is the most heat. Mo it it's one of the most heat. Uh, transferring metals. I forget what it's called. Conductive metals. Um, that's why you wouldn't want to file a tip like that. But for this tip, the, one, the tip I have, it's fine because the entire tip is copper. Uh, so you have to know what kind of tip you have. Oh, smoke's starting to show. It's going to happen any minute now. There we go. I see it melting. You can see the smoke. Yeah. This is good. It's not giving it time to oxidize, it's just melting right over it. Perfect. Look at that. 
just gonna ooze right off. It's actually pretty cool. I'm just gonna let it heat up. Let it take, give it some time to like really absorb it. But I don't like to use a wet sponge. What I like to use is, is a dry sponge. And this is what's really bothering me with a lot of people is that they use wet sponges. What's the point of using a wet sponge? It's just gonna take away all the heat. At least with a dry sponge, you're not gonna have that issue. So, it wasn't as successful as I hoped it would be, but it's good. I can see it oxidizing. Oh man, I'm trying to film and do this at the same time. Oh, check that out everybody. We've got ourselves an extremely good tip. So that was 150% successful. Amazing, check, check that out guys. Our tip is like brand new. So yeah, if you are looking for a way to fix your tip up, this is the way, and here just to test if it really works. We'll melt some solder onto here. Oh my god, I can't believe I fixed my tip. I've been trying to fix this tip for a while. So for those of you who say, do not file your tip, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. So basically at this point, we could turn off our soldering tool and let that um, solder, <coughs> uh, twist your soldering tool, get that solder in all the cracks and crevices. Yeah, so two tips for the day. If you do have your tip, uh, if your tip does get oxidized and it gets rusty, you can file it if it's made of copper and do as I showed you, coil the solder around it and, uh, and uh, turn on your tool to retin your, uh, your copper, your copper retin to retin it. Okay. Um, and for maintenance, do not use a wet sponge. Use a dry sponge. It will reduce the amount of heat that you uh, lose while during your soldering. Okay. Um, and tip number three, that was tip number two, so that's now tip number three is um, before you turn off your soldering tool, make sure you apply lots of solder on there. Not lots of solder, just enough solder to coat it, coat the tool. Uh, and that will um, reduce the oxidation. So there you go, everybody. Please leave a comment below and uh, subscribe.